square piece of paper from your teacher or from me or from yourself because you might be doing this at home um, and get some crayons that are, you can make into a pattern. I chose a warm color scheme, I've got some pinks, I've got some yellow oranges, all those fun colors because when I paint on top of it with my spray paint, it'll be a cool color. That's how you create some good contrast. So I urge you guys to choose a color scheme that, you, that is the opposite of what you're going to be painting with so you can come up with some contrast. All right, once you got your colors down, know what pattern you're going to be putting these in. So I think I want to go from lightest to darkest, so I'll start with the light, the white, yellow, yellow, orange, and then those that'll be my color pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and start this now. You get your crayon, and it's almost like you're drawing a circle, but in a zigzag line. Okay, and you do want to leave a little bit of white space in between your zigzag, not too much, but enough to be like, hey, you know, some paint's gonna soak through here. It's gonna look awesome. I go ahead, I get my next color. I do a little bit of overlapping. Just a little bit, but I also bring it out so um, it can mix in with the new color. And you just kind of just branch it out. You know, remember, it's just a quick zigzag in a circular motion. So I'm just gonna spin it up. <laughs> Great, we're almost there, almost there. Not quite, I have so much more to go. But, so you guys don't rush, you know, take your time, enjoy yourself, and I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up for you. All right, awesome, so my kindergartners are gonna be creating their design from one center point on their paper. But if you're in a second grade, third grade, or a fourth grade class, you're not gonna do one center point. You're gonna have a whole bunch of these center points going throughout your piece, so I should see more complex patterns. I should see about five or six on your larger piece of paper, and I should definitely see that excellent craftsmanship that an older student would have. All right, that's really all the uh, differentiation I'm gonna have for this project. All right guys, so the next step is super fun and easy because you get to see how watercolor interacts with crayon. You're going to get a spray bottle with watercolor in it and all you have to do is tilt it. Okay, so make, don't you, don't tilt it like this because nothing, you see there's nothing coming there. So you need to make sure you tilt it this way. And spray at a distance and watch the colors just come to light. Get a couple colors too. You'll get black, or not black, you'll get purple and blue and let those colors shine through. What happens is the painting will soak into the paper and not the crayon. And it happens magically over time. Now, you're done. All you gotta do is keep spraying that bad boy, have a good time, watch the contrast blast through your paper, and uh, oh yeah, don't spray your friend, or your teacher, or the floor, or your clothes, because this stuff kind of stains, unless you're using food colors. Either way guys, have some fun, enjoy yourself. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.